a brand new uh, segment on the program tonight. It's called Congested Politician of the Night. Congested <laughs> Politician of the Night featuring Joe Biden yesterday on Face the Nation. Congested Politician. Watch. significant success <coughs> with the Arabian Peninsula. <coughs> In addition to that, <coughs> here is, uh, uh, you know, I'm the United <coughs> States scheduled to be <coughs> argument he was a court uh, <coughs> and <coughs> to <coughs> path <coughs> first <coughs> going silent once he <coughs> President Obama, are you like me? Are you, I wouldn't give this guy's troubles to a monkey on a rock. Uh, he was doing the uh, speech last night, and he's begging uh, for money, and he says, you know, whatever you can give, send it in. We need money now. And right in the middle of his speech, did you see this, Paul? Uh, I think I am. I, I TiVo'd this. I said to myself, what? So I TiVo'd it and brought it in to right. share with you folks today. Take a look at what happened during the primetime speech last night. For the last decade, we've spent more money than we take in. In the year 2000, the government had a budget surplus. But instead of using it to pay off our debt. The money was spent on trillions of dollars in new tax cuts. This has been a message from the President of the United States. What happened uh, during Obama's speech yesterday when uh, uh, Jolt and Joe uh, nodded off? <laughs> we have the actual footage. Take a look at this. It's fascinating. Moreover, this belief hasn't hindered the success of those at the top of the income scale. They continue to do better and better with each passing year. <laughs> and was with the president, and we did the disco funk dance <laughs> to convince Congress to restart the government. Have you seen these photos of uh, Paul Ryan working out? Here he is. There's our boy. Yeah, it's the Backstreet Boys, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Hi, I'm your next vice president. I couldn't be cuter. Well, not to be outdone, the Obama campaign has released this footage of Joe Biden's <laughs> fitness regimen. Okay. This is how Joe Biden keeps in shape. Right. Take a look, everybody. vigilant in looking out for individuals of suspicion who may be crossing our border. Uh, the chances of an outbreak uh, of an epidemic here are extraordinarily low. And I'm an ice cream guy. Right, I'm being told, ladies and gentlemen, we have another round of uh, politician sleep off. <laughs> and uh, the good news is this is our final one. Okay. Uh, this, uh, we'll let you see who's in this one. Take a look. It's our politician sleep off. You should have to pay nearly $6,400 more. It says instead of guaranteed health care, you will get a voucher. If that voucher isn't worth enough to buy, the insurance will be Hey man. Hey mother. mom. Hey mom. Hey man. Hey, hey mom. Hey dad. Hey man. Hey mom. Hey mom. Hey man. Hey dad. How you doing, man? Hey man. Hey man. Hey mom. Dick. You know what I saw the other day is uh, Vice President Joe Biden, and he's on some show. Oh yeah. Yakking about something. Ah. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> as. As things will do, one thing leads to another, and uh, he's talking about moisturizing. And lo and behold, 
the vice president says, you know what, I, I love moisturizing. My wife, Jill, got me to moisturize. And you're thinking, right, you're not, he's just playing along. You know, he just wants to go home. Yeah, yeah, I moisturize, sure, yeah, yeah, no, I do. <laughs> then today, did you see the speech? No. Well, here's the, the vice president's weekly speech. You take a look at this. You think he was lying about moisturizing? Watch. As you all know, nearly one-third of humankind is online today, something we would have never thought possible 20 years ago. <laughs> More than two billion people encounter. The internet, the internet has become the public space. It's a quarter horse, man. That's all it is, a quarter horse. But that new stingray, yo. Oh, oh, you tack that sucker up to six grand and it comes out of the hole like a bullet, man. You know who I'm worried about is uh, uh, Joe Biden. Now, a lot of people say he's a little foggy, a little preoccupied, a little absent-minded. Uh, he called to congratulate a guy who won uh, uh, an election uh, uh, earlier this week, and he got the wrong guy. <laughs> and he congratulated him. The guy is named Marty or something. He called him, and he said, hey, congratulations. And they talked for like 20 minutes, and finally the guy said, I, uh, uh, Mr. Vice President, no disrespect, you got the wrong Marty. <laughs> Not a big deal, but then you start looking back. Do you remember when he went to Vatican City to meet the Pope? Do you sure. remember? And, and they kind of hushed that thing up. And now here's poor foggy Joe Biden <laughs> engaged in a conversation with who he believes to be the Pope. We have this footage. I don't think I've seen this in it. Look at this. Take a look at Joe Biden. <laughs> now, is it? Well, you know who's at it again, ladies and gentlemen? Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden <laughs> at it again earlier today. Did you see this? <laughs> Take it away, Joe. Now is the time to heed the timeless advice from Teddy Roosevelt. Speak softly and carry a big stick. End of quote. I promise you, the president has a big stick. <laughs> 